this image of there is a character is still based in that paradigm of there's two of you. Because mm -hmm. there's you and then there's your char the character. Right. But if you check in with your direct <clears throat> experience, there's only you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're, com you're completely choosing to produce this idea of a character. So anything that indicates there's two versions of you at a certain stage, initially that's helpful to realize, oh, I'm not my person. Then you get the witness, the observer comes in, there's sort of a higher level of consciousness that kicks in, and now you can consciously work with your tendencies and your patterns. But at a certain point that needs to collapse, not doesn't need to, but wants to, mm -hmm. collapse back into realization. The character is completely the result of me not staying in the I am, not staying connected to my own consciousness, my own will, this, own, this realization that there is only me as the observer, which equals the will. And this is also a good example of how empowerment and enlightenment meet at some point, right? Because this is, we're talking sort of from the angle of empowerment, but actually, if you are 100% empowered in this way and you're no longer creating a second version of you, then you're in the I am. You're you're aware of yourself, you're aware of awareness, you're aware of your, your soloness, your singleness, your unity. So that's the unified self, aka six density, commensurate individual. Again, it's, it's pretending this false sense, it's maintaining this false sense that there's two of you. <laughs> yeah. There's what you want and there's what happens. <laughs> so this really reaches that state of like total responsibility. Yeah. Without like, it's not the same as taking responsibility for everything that happens, you know, and like, <laughs> in the sort of burden sense, or being responsible for others. It's that responsibility of realizing you're choosing everything you're saying, doing, and thinking, and feeling. You're choosing what you're aware of, and what separations and compartments you're generating, but it doesn't change the fact that there's just one you. The character is a thought form, it's not you. The world is a product of my lack of will. The lack of having gathered your will in one place, or realizing that it's all your will. You know, like if you get into the higher enlightenment teachings, like seventh density, as well as eighth, then you get statements like the world doesn't exist, or the world is only mind, and you begin to experientially realize this. And you can do that right now. It's not that hard to do. It's not a mystical state per se. It starts with the simple recognition that you've never experienced the world apart from your lack of focus on yourself, on your will. So it's literally a product that comes from awareness being filtered through. So for lack of a better word, a lack of will being gathered. It's still will, but it's just will poured out into all kinds of ideas instead of will being gathered within itself, which is what fifth density really starts to do. And then it reaches this pinnacle of the unified self in sixth density. And it makes sense also if you look at it metaphysically, like the sixth density being the higher self. You could say there is no character anymore in sixth density, but anything below mid sixth density is a character projection. It's the product of a lack of total self knowledge and self will and self awareness. Whereas the sixth density is that nexus point where the individual just begins to emanate out of the wholeness, the allness of the creator. And is this individuated spark. And then in sixth density, it's this unified self, this unified I am. Still individuated, but it's the very core of all of his projections. So it's the higher self of all of these projections. And anything up to that point is a, is a character. Even the fifth density person that's meditating and gathering its will is also still a choice um, of a path. It's also still a symbol that you choose to give power to. And it's natural. For the most part, you have to go through that stage. But yeah, even the fifth density, willful, super wise, concentrated entity is still a character within the item. So it's still a giving power away as if there's two of you.